What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we are at San Diego Comic Con and there is so many people here. There's a lot of people here. We're gonna be going throughout the con looking for different Funko Pops, looking for all kinds of cool figures, posters, art, all kinds of stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just waiting to get my badge currently right now. But when we go inside, I'll show you guys a bunch of stuff pretty soon here. So I guess let's go to San Diego Comic Con 2022, day one. Guys, here it is, Funkoville. Welcome to Funkoville. They got some lounge fly over there, Squid Games over there. Now showing San Diego Comic Con 2022. Love it. Look at all of that. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the diner. The exclusives. Oh, I can't wait. Check out all their lounge fly. San Diego Comic Con exclusives kinds of different stuff. Pink bags. I wonder if Bailey wants any of these bags. I'm gonna have to check if I can even get one for her, to be honest. I think you uh, need a ticket. Ooh, there's the Stranger Things one. And back there, guys, is all the Funko Pops. Here's a little bit of a closer look at the little theater here. Why don't I know what this is? I like the crown. I don't know what this is for some reason. We also do have the Freddy Vampire coming soon, 2022. Beach Bash Freddy, that's pretty cool. Oh, the Pop Pier, live from Pop, that's funny, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so bright. Festival of Fun, and 2021, the Freddy on Fire, I guess. Nice. Up here is their diner, now serving Fanatics, 24 hours, seven days a week, that's really cool. Oh look, they have like a little scroll thing of all their exclusives. That's really cool. Oh my God, there's so many. And that's pretty much their booth, guys. There's the Mondo booth as well, if anybody wants to see that. But yeah, guys. But I feel like it kind of looks small because you can walk through the entire thing pretty fast, but still, it's a great experience. All right, guys, check out the Chalice Collectibles booth. Look how neat this looks. So they have their pop protectors, says two each, three for five or 20 for 20. Oh, that's actually not bad. Mystery box for $20, you can get an exclusive or chase in there, and they looks like they have a bunch. Now, they also do have a bunch of Funko Bobs. They have some of the SDCC exclusives there, some signed pops. Looks like they have their own exclusive chases, they have Killua, all kinds of different stuff, guys. This is really cool. I like this because they actually have their own exclusive button here. And it's a Boruto Sasuke at Chow's Collectibles. Look at that. Thousand pieces, I think. So there's only a thousand of these available. It looks really cool. All right. So they have a bunch of these today. And they have some like black light ones. It's a really, really nice booth, guys. There's a little logo down there. On the side here, this is their Funko Pops on this rack, 20 each. So let's see, let's take a look what they have. They have Blacklight Sylvie, that's a really cool one. Vision 70s, Lady Loki, Doppelganger Spider-Man, Elsa Bloodstone. Ooh, look, they have the new uh, Aoyama there as well as Jiro. Nice, SSG Goku, all kinds of different stuff. Okay, I know they have some more on the other side. Look how clean this looks, good lord. It's so neat, I wish my shelves looked like that. All right, and then we also have, ooh, we have Kakashi, the GameStop exclusive. We also have, it's so reflective too. <laughs> what up? Some more uh, Aoyamas, Naruto Six Paths, we have Asuma there, a bunch of Saint Seiya, Hunter x Hunter, ooh, they have a Lumi, as well as the new Apex Legends exclusive, Super Saiyan Goku. All kinds of different stuff, guys. Make sure to stop by the Chalice booth, wow. All right, guys, so everything is officially open now. I'm trying to watch where I'm going as well, there's people. But um, everything's officially open now, so we can start recording, we can start showing off all kinds of stuff. There's Netflix, Nickelodeon, Viz Media, their booth is so freaking cool. I definitely wanna take a look around there. Bob's Burgers, Family Guy. We're gonna go all, we're gonna go all over for this first day, the, uh, like the, f I, it's uh, Wednesday, so the first day, yes. Technically, I guess the official official is tomorrow. But we're gonna go all over, guys. All right, here's the AA booth, guys. Check out the logo. They do have Giyu there. They even have Luck Voltia. Check that out. And the Chase. 
Oh, I can't wait to get the samples and review them for you guys. But they're staying here for the show. We also have Superman, their latest exclusive. Looks like they even got in some of the Black Clover. I have yet to find Asta. <laughs> they also have Ichigo and his Chase. Oh, Chase over there. They have a couple of the Pocket Pop exclusives as well as their new Blind Chase thing where you pay like, I think 15 bucks and you get a chance at a Chase. So there's the Netflix booth. I'm not gonna record too much here because I don't wanna get copyrighted, but we're just gonna walk around a little bit. It's a little shag store. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks kinda cool. Let's see what's in there. Oh look, 100 years of Stanley. Exclusive Centennial Stanley merchandise. Pretty cool. All right, Beavis and Butthead over here. Let's see, Ozzy Osbourne right there. I'm also testing out the new care. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I'm going in here for sure. I haven't even fully watched the last trailer, but I'm just trying to show you guys all around this. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get some close-ups in here for you guys. Wow, look how realistic that is. It's so scary. Oh my gosh. I mean, see Instagram. That's insane. They do incredible work here. Holy crap. Captain America. Oh my gosh, that is so creepy. I feel like he's here with me. That is so realistic. Good Lord. All right, so all those figures and little busts and things were cool. Now let's find the Funko Pops. I need to find something to buy. <laughs> we're not gonna be buying any Funko exclusives on this first day. That will be on the third day. Um, just so you guys know, we're gonna do that a little bit later. I wanna enjoy today, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Ooh, so I, we, gotta, we gotta find something cool today. So I'll let you guys know when I do find something. All right, check out the Viz Media booth. They have so many Bleach characters up here. God, this is a beautiful display. Why can't this be my like closet outline or my room outline? Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Got some captains in there. I love it. Oh, they got Sailor Moon on the other side. Check that out. Oh, that's so cool. I wish Bailey was here to see this. She'd like that. So at the Viz booth, they were actually selling the Bleach 20th anniversary like little uh, manga here. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was only 10 bucks, so I picked one up. Also, fun fact, this is my first manga that I've ever bought for myself. All right, guys, I found the Funko Pops. We have some Inuyasha right here, Saint Seiya, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Sword Art Online. Down here, we have a couple of My Hero Academia and Naruto mixed together. Kakashi there, some Avatar, Hunter Hunter. They actually have Zoro here, and this is actually a really good price. They also have Boa, Nico, Usab, Nami, and Chopper. It looks like almost the whole set. I found two different chases, Dipper Pines and Naruto Hokage here. A few more, we have Anbu Itachi, Kakashi, and Ichigo there. Zuko West, oh, this is like a whole chase wall. I'm noticing <laughs> there's a ton of chases. A couple different Stranger Things as well, for any Stranger Things fans. Naruto Uzumaki Sexy Jutsu, Six Paths, Kakashi Lightning Blade. Ooh, eating noodles. And they also have a bunch of Game of Thrones, some Demon Slayer, Avatar, Inuyasha, Kilala. I learned the name from Bailey. Kakashi there, Evil Inuyasha. Some of my favorites, we have Speedy from Arrow, Reverse Flash from Flash, and Zoom there. Ooh, even the Flash. Heat alert, guys. Oh my gosh. Some of these pieces you don't see very often. 480 pieces, SpongeBob SquarePants, Metallic. Mr. Incredible, I don't even know if I've ever seen that in person. Soli, Elvis, Moon Knight, Sloth, Elvira, Freddy Funko, Superman. Ooh. Phoenix, James Rhodes. So 
many grails. Oh, they even got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 pack. I love it. Here's some other crazy heat, guys. Freddy Funko's Toxic Rick, Mercury, Remy. Oh, they got the limited 3,000 piece Remy. 440 second Bone Trooper. Raphael signed animal, 4,000 piece. Nice. Marvin the Martian. Oh, the Joker. Man, do I want that in my set. It's so expensive, though. I would love to have that one, too. Boba Fett, Obi-Wan. He definitely fell a little bit in price. Unmasked Vader, Charmander. So many grails. Billy, Ochako, Robin, Jim Halpert, Whis, Ghostface, Shazam. Oh, so many good Freddies. Oh, they even got the uh, Freddy Funko as Olaf. I think that's Olaf. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get close-ups of this because there's so many people in line, but this is the Pop Asia booth, and they have all of their exclusives back there. Kind of cool. They also do have this giant life-size Genshin Impact Funko Pop, which was really nice. All right, guys, we have a little bit of a scavenger hunt. Ask the booth staff and get a free badge ribbon. And uh, I actually got the first one, but there's four more we gotta go find at those booths, so let's find them. So for the Crunchyroll Dragon Ball Super booth, we actually uh, got the Piccolo one next. There wasn't much to show here, though, just some landscape, but we got it. So this little booth has a lot of different exclusives. They have the J. Jonah Jameson, Iron Man Model 39, Spider Carnage, pretty cool. I don't think I have that one in the collection. Super Saiyan Go Tanks should have been named three. And then we also do have uh, Natsu and a bunch of different DC and Marvel, Scarlet Witch. Uh, ooh, they have uh, Tyrael, I think that's how you say that from Diablo. It's been a while since I played the game. Let's see, Blacklight Scarlet Witch, some of the other ones, Jackie Chan, Luke Skywalker. Oh, they have the Flynn. Um, some Stitch over here. Ooh, Kakashi Perfect Susano as well as Jiraiya. The Majin Buu T bundle, Avatar Last Ember and the Glow. A lot of anime over here I'm seeing. Luke Skywalker up there. Hmm, Naruto Six Pats. Oh, they have some of the Naruto uh, Hello Kitty Sanrio. Is that Sanrio? I think that's just Hello Kitty. I don't know. Someone let me know. Present Mai, Katsuki Bakugo, some Fire Force here. They have all the new Tokyo Ghoul, Fairy Tale. Oh, they also have Fagum. Pretty cool. Over here, guys, we're in the PX Previews booth. Look at this. They have their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exclusives, the Venom comic cover. Look at that. I don't even know if this is released yet. Chase. We have the uh, Hall of Armor here, which is really cool. Oh, the entire set. Sweet. Galactus. Iron Man as well as Thanos. Love it. Alright guys, over here, they actually have some decently priced grails, I'm not gonna lie. Like that Maka right here. Oh, I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, he's screaming. Okay. Anyways, back to the Funko Pops. Spider-Man symbiote suit here, Stan Lee. As I was saying, Maka, 125 bucks. That's actually really good. I'm actually kind of surprised. Daredevil there, 80 bucks. Ochako Chase, 250, that's around what she's going for. Iron Man's a really cool find. A lot of grails in this case. Um, Loki there, Booberry, Michonne. I wonder if these Makas are damaged because they're so cheap. Um, Scary Terry, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Rey Mysterio there, Aaron Titan, Freddy Funko as Marty McFly, Bigfoot, uh, Kurama, Young Ben, so many great grails. Ooh, Supergirl. Wow. Sinestro, that's a really good one. Lionel, another Iron Man, Future Trunks. Manalo, is that how you say his name? Yondu, 10th Doctor. Good lord, the grails are just endless. This is insane. Might have to do a whole section on this. Yikes, there's so many guys. Check out the giant Lego Bowser we just showed off a little bit earlier. That thing's so cool, part of the Super Mario Lego booth. Wow, that's insane. I do wanna let you guys know I'm excited to play that game when it comes to PS5, for sure. Diablo Immortal. So since I'll be buying pops from actual Funko because I want some of the STCC exclusives, 
I don't know if I found anything that I really, really solid want because I'm already gonna have a crazy amount of stuff to ship back. I don't know, maybe we'll do like a separate video where we buy some stuff. We'll see what happens, but so far for day one, I have not found anything that I do wanna buy. I don't know, I feel like that's kinda good though. I bought the manga. Outside of that though, this mask keeps slipping down. I need to tighten it, but outside of that, we haven't bought a Funko Pop yet, but we'll see. We still got about 45 minutes left. Check out all the cute poskets. I didn't even know they made one of Steve Aoki. Got some Demon Slayer here. All kinds of different ones. Then we have Jujutsu Kaisen. Look at those. Oh, the Sakuno one. He's not supposed to look adorable. <laughs> and then a couple Naruto ones. Sasuke, Naruto, and Kakashi. My hair. Oh, wow. The Hawks one looks amazing compared to the other ones. Bakugo looks pretty cool. Toga's looks pretty nice in the hair detail. Oh, they already made Spy Family? That was quick. I wonder how long ago these came out. Dang. And then we also do have Aaron Yeager and Levi. Where's Mikasa? And then they also have some Stranger Things ones. Pretty cool. Hey guys, so it is actually next day. I'm currently in the Airbnb. Last night I was just so exhausted and I, I couldn't bring myself to film the outro. Um, but we did pick up a couple things today and we bought one thing. And we'll be buying more things like throughout the event, but today was kind of preview day, or yesterday was preview day, so I just kind of wanted to enjoy it and uh, see everything they had to offer. So obviously the some of the things that we did get were the ribbons here. We didn't finish that because it got kind of crazy with the lines, so we got two of four, and we got the Piccolo one as well as one of the Android, I actually, I guess he's number one, I don't know his name yet, and I've been trying to like avoid like names and spoilers as best I can for the movie. We also got this really cool lanyard that I haven't opened yet, I'll probably just save it for when I get home, but it's like a Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, like Lanyard, and it has like the date on it. Pretty cool. And we also did get the Bleach manga here, which I am pretty excited about. 20th anniversary. It was like a limited edition thing. I, I thought it was kind of cool for only 10 bucks. And, you know, usually these are like, I don't know if they're normally $10 or if they're a little bit less expensive than that. But it has all kinds of cool things, and I can't wait to... You know, check it out and see what this involves. And then we got some like little prints also from Viz Media, like a Naruto thing, and then a uh... oh my bad, it's like a Shonen Jump thing. It has all kinds of different characters. On the back is Bleach there. I don't know. It was like a, I guess it's a uh, chapter thing, like a manga thing online. So I was gonna check it out. And this one was just like what they had for sale at the booth later on in some giveaways. And then lastly, we did get this uh, Dragon Ball Super, like, little art thing, I guess. It's like, it says Dragon Ball here, and then Dragon Ball Super on the back. I thought that was really nice. So, yeah, it just has a, it's like a little manga booklet. I don't know, but a couple freebies we got. We, we didn't really spend a lot of money yet, but... Yeah, it was a fun day. It was a fun day. Let me know if you went. Let me know if you are planning to go a different day. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps me out. I do want to end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. You guys definitely make trips like this happen with your support. So thank you so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, updates, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 14,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And also make sure to be following me on all my social medias, all Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.